Hey guys, a quick uh, little tutorial here. So um, one of the questions that I uh, received a few times now is asking me, uh, how do you render out an animation uh, in Maya? What would be, you know, uh, a, a proper way to uh, render this out? So one of the ways um, you could do it is using Play Blast. Another way is just using the uh, Maya render. And a third one would be uh, to use, you know, a, uh, Arnold, right? So there's I can think of uh, three different ways of rendering out an animation uh, that you have. And of course, there's the fourth one, which honestly, I do a lot myself, uh, where you just screen grab, um, you know, just screen capture your uh, video right from the viewport. So uh, many different ways, but the proper way obviously is gonna be render this out as an image, se uh, image sequence and then, uh, you know, uh, editing it in like After Effects or Adobe Premiere if you want to do additional effects and all that stuff. But um, one of the uh, reasons I want to do this quick video is because um, if you wanted to, for example, screen grab something like this, and this is just, uh, you know, it's from one of our previous tutorials that we've done in the past. But if you wanted to screen grab, or even if you just want to do a quick play blast, right? If you go to uh, animation and you go to uh, playback and you go to play blast options, in here, uh, there's a few different options that you could choose. Uh, one of them being show ornaments. But even if I uh, uncheck show ornaments, right, and if I just do a quick play blast, you can see that this bounding box that is, um, um, you know, that's surrounding the particles, right, is still rendering even in the play blast. So what would be, uh, let me actually turn some of these on, get a nice, nicer play blast. Um, so what would be, uh, is there a way to turn this off so we can do a quick play blast? Uh, and there is, all you need to do is just select this uh, particle box. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna go into your uh, flame shape. So whatever particle you're using, just go into the shape node. And uh, in here under uh, display, you have something called um, boundary draw, right? Right here. And the boundary draw has uh, has the settings currently set to bo uh, bounding box by default. But if you uh, select uh, none instead, then you can just have the particle preview in the viewport without the bounding box. And uh, again, again, this doesn't really make any uh, difference if you're rendering this out um, as an image sequence because the bounding box is not going to render out. But again, a lot of times. Um, you know, if you want to just do a quick screen grab or do a play blast, this is super useful. Uh, this way you can actually render out the particles, right? And to be honest with you, the, um, the viewport, uh, as Maya keeps producing higher and higher quality, uh, there's really no reason why sometimes uh, you could just, you know, full on cheat and just grab the screen grab from the actual viewport. It just looks that nice, especially if you add some lights. So right now I don't even have any lights in here, right? But if I turn the lights on, and let me just dra uh, drop something like, uh, let me just create like a, you know, even a directional light, right? And if I rotate it, I can do something like this. And then I'll do Control D to duplicate it. And let's do another one coming from another direction, maybe from like back here. And then we can turn the intensity on. And just in the viewport alone, yeah, maybe this is not as nice as like a full on Arnold render, but you could see how this could totally uh, work for uh, showing it, you know, in like a quick preview or you're sending it to someone, right? You don't want to spend hours rendering stuff out. This is a great way to preview it. So uh, so now again, if you go into Play Blast, uh, go do a quick Play Blast. Let's just make sure my scale is half. That's fine. Let's do, let's render this out real quick. Um, and you can see the, bo the bounding box is not there, right? And that would be a really clever way to uh, quickly create some kind of an animation. And then of course, also keep in mind, if you are doing a play blast, um, you don't really have any settings in here for uh, various, uh, as far as like the colors go, but if you go into your settings and go into color management, let's open this up. Um, in here, you have something called apply output transform to play blast. So you do have a few different options um, to play with, and that is gonna control uh, seemingly the uh, quality of your play blast. So that's an option as well, right? So you can control it uh, further. So anyways, I just really wanna just show you guys that you could turn off the bounding box 
for uh, a particle effect uh, in case you need to. All right, so in my next video, I'm actually gonna render this out as an image sequence and maybe that will uh, help somebody out as well. All right, so I'll see you guys in our next video.